something meaningful Say something I don't know I wanna know you better Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel My name is Jocelyn and this is Life with Jocelyn Christina For those of you who are new and this is your first time to my channel Welcome and for those of you who are returning Thank you so much for coming back So we are continuing on this home decorating journey and in today's video, I'm so excited to share that my brand new ruggable rug has just come in right here. So I'm so happy to go ahead and share my brand new ruggable rug with you all. And so what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to unbox my new ruggable rug and then we are going to see how it looks, see how it feels, you know, if it's worth the money and we're gonna actually go ahead and put it out on the floor and see how it looks out on the floor. If any of you have a ruggable rug, please comment down below and let me know your thoughts on your rug. This is my first ruggable rug, so I'm really excited to see how this looks on my kitchen floor. This rug, the ruggable rug came just a few days ago and I wanna say it took about, about two weeks for it to come to my house from the time that I placed the order. And I just bought just the runner because I wanted to try the runner out and see how I like it. I do wanna buy a full like eight by 10 rug for the dining room area, but I just wanted to try out one rug, see if I like it. I really wanted to buy like a washable rug that I could use for my kitchen and dining area because those are gonna be my most high traffic areas in my home. So it was really important for me to get, you know, a rug that can be washable, that I can easily clean and put back out on the floor. And from what I've read on reviews about the ruggable rug, that they can easily be washed and dried and they are like brand new after you wash and dry them and put them back out on the floor. So that's what I wanted, something that is gonna be long lasting, that's gonna be great, easy to clean. So I am, if this, if I really like this one today, I'm most likely going to get another runner for the other part of my floor, other part of my kitchen floor, and then one for behind the kitchen where we come in from the garage and then eight by 10 for the dining room area. Those are my only like really high traffic areas where I felt like a ruggable rug would be necessary for me. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around. I wanna start out by showing you what the box looks like that it comes in. And then I wanna show you my kitchen floor area where I'm gonna place the ruggable rug and then where I'm gonna buy some more if if I really like this one once we unbox it. All right, so let me go ahead and turn the camera around. All right, so this is the box that my ruggable rug came in. So it looks just like this, and we are going to unbox this today. And I purchased, like I said, a runner, and the size on this runner, let me get the details for you. So this is a two and a half by 10 runner rug that I purchased off of the Ruggable website and it includes the rug and also a pad that is supposed to go underneath the rug. So we are going to unbox this today and take a look at it. The, uh, the, the price for this size rug was $189. And then of course there are taxes, but the uh, the price itself for the rug is 189. So, and again, this is for the two and a half by 10 runner size. In the color is called Cameron Coral. And I will make sure to uh, put that information at the bottom of this video so you all can see in detail the size and the name of the rug. So let me go ahead and show you where we're gonna place this rug on my kitchen floor. So there are a couple of open spaces here on my kitchen floor. One is right here. So I'm not gonna put the rug right here, but if I like how this runner looks, then I will buy another runner to go right here, straight down this area. But we are gonna put this runner right here right between 
uh, where the stove is and the sink because this is definitely a high traffic area right here for myself and for my family so we're gonna uh, you know put this runner to the test this ruggable rug and put it right here and then let me show you my dining area so I'm going to get another matching uh, 8 by 10 I believe is going to be a good size for this dining space for um, for the dining table so if I like the ruggable runner then I'm gonna buy the 8 by 10 as well and put that here in this space and I think it'll look really good because this is definitely going to be like a high traffic area where my kids are gonna be coming down to eat and they might spill stuff on the floor on the rug and so I definitely wanted a washable rug that is going to be easy to clean and you know be able to put right back down on the floor and look brand new so let me just show you behind the kitchen this is another space back here I do have to pop buy a like a bench or something to go right here for all of our shoes but I do want another runner to go from the garage door area straight down this way towards the half bath right here. So that will be another runner. So I'll have a total of three runners. So one here, one right here, and then one behind the kitchen in this long hallway here, and then an eight by 10 rug over here in the dining space. All right, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this ruggable rug and see how it looks, let's see how it feels, and let's see how it looks on my floor, and hopefully it's something that, um, that I'll like and I'll be able to buy more of. Let's get started. When you came through that door, yeah, glowing like a headlight, independent all the way, got her bread right, yeah. Hard to ignore, sexy body make a jaw hit the floor. Won't you come over now? Just let me hold you down. Nothing else matching your type. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Look at my rug. Ooh, this rug is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You make up your mind, but I can't wait. everyone so I have officially unboxed this rug it is so beautiful OMG now I know why people who say that they have a ruggable rug buy more it's beautiful look at this rug it's absolutely gorgeous I love the way it feels it's nice and soft now this is the pad that goes underneath the rug so we're gonna lay this down uh, I believe I can be able to lay this down with the rug. I'm gonna show you how I'm going to attempt to do that today. But look at this rug, it's just absolutely gorgeous. If you do not have a ruggable rug, I would highly recommend it just on the fact of how beautiful it is. It's so gorgeous. I love the pattern and I just wanna get in close so you all can see this beautiful pattern look at this beautiful rug look at all the detail look at all these beautiful colors i love the red and it has like a it's like a bluish color in it and there's some brown and lots of tan 
I mean, it's just so pretty. It has this like vintage type of look to it. I mean, it's just so gorgeous and it feels so soft. Like it's absolutely just like so soft. It's very lightweight. It feels very thin, but it also feels like very sturdy. Like it doesn't feel cheap at all. And then look at just the edges of this rug along the sides. Look at this stitching. Very nice, durable stitching. Like it is like just perfectly made, like all the way around. It's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Now we are going to put the runner pad underneath the rug and the corners of the this pad here is supposed to slide into these pockets right here. And on the inside of these pockets here, it feels like, like a rubber kind of material. I assume that maybe that is supposed to help grip the pad and help the pad stay inside these pockets here. So the corner of this pad is gonna slip into the corners of the ruggable rug to help set up and stay on the floor. And then let's just see the other side. So this is the other side of the rug. It feels almost like a soft, like velvety texture, just absolutely beautiful. It's so, it's just so gorgeous. It feels so nice. It's so soft. This rug is super soft, feels very comfortable. Like I said, very lightweight and it's, it's beautiful. So let's go ahead and continue and we are gonna move this over into the kitchen where I told you where we're gonna put it between the sink and the stove and we're gonna lay this out there. I'm gonna actually try to go ahead and put this pad under the rug and then we're gonna lay it out on the floor. So let's continue. goodness that was so much work <laughs> I feel like everything I do it just it's like so much work but we finally got the rug together with the pad you know I'm just glad I got it together so I finally got the pad is lined up with the rug which looks really really good so I just want to show you this side before we turn it over so the goal was to get the pad to line up evenly with the rug and then slide the corners of the pad into these pockets on the back of the rug. And there's four pockets, so two at that end and then two at this end. And then I'm just reading the instructions here for assembling the rug. It says roll up the rug cover, design side in, position the rug pad grippy side down, align the rolled, cover and the edge of the pad with a slight overhang and unroll the rug cover over the pad and smooth out any wrinkles. If necessary, you can sweep or vacuum the rug with low suction and a soft brush. Um, place your rug cover in the washing machine, design side facing, side facing out, wash in cold water with mild detergent, no bleach or fabric softener, and machine dry on low heat to maximize freshness or hang dry. This is just information about the outdoor rug. So it says it is stain resistant, extra durable rug cover, UV resistant colors, pronounced weave texture for indoor and outdoor use, switch out the top layer to change up your space. And then the indoor, it says stain resistant, soft Chanel texture, top layer catches spills, 
and switch out the top layer to change up your space. So these were just some, this, these were just some additional information about the rugs here. So that's awesome. So when you receive the rug, you also get this little guide with it. It says, welcome to Ruggable. And it has a lot of helpful information here about the rug, how to wash it, which is what we just went over on the inside of the little pamphlet. And then on the outside, just some more additional helpful information here on the outside. So now that we've got the rug pad on the other side of the rug, which I don't know if you know, like I said, but this rug pad, it sticks to the rug. So it doesn't move once it's on there. It's, it feels pretty sturdy. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it over and then let's see what it looks like on the other side. All right, so I've turned the rug over. It looks so pretty. I am so excited. It's just so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I really love the way the rug looks. I think it matches perfectly with my white kitchen. It looks so beautiful. Uh, I definitely think I am sold on the Ruggable rug and I am going to be going back on their website and purchasing two more runners and an eight by 10 for the dining area. It looks so beautiful. I'm just gonna walk across it so you can see in detail how it looks. The pattern, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Just absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like it a lot. And like I said, it feels so comfortable. It's very nice, it's lightweight, but it feels very durable and it's very soft. It doesn't feel rough or anything like that. Just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so in love with the pattern and the color. I do want to like just smooth it out a little bit more with my hands, um, but otherwise it just looks so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna walk across one more time so you all can see the pattern in detail. And like I said, if you are thinking about a ruggable rug and you're not really sure if, if it's something you should buy because they are you know, a bit on the pricier side for rugs, I would say absolutely definitely go ahead and get it. Absolutely looks so gorgeous and it is a perfect fit for this space right here. So, and obviously when I buy the two, when I buy the two additional runners, I'm gonna buy a smaller size for the other two spaces in my kitchen and behind the kitchen. So yeah, so that's pretty much it on the Ruggable Rug unboxing. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around and let's wrap up. All right, so that's pretty much it on today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing with my Ruggable Runner, and I can't wait to go ahead and order additional Ruggable Rugs and see how those come out. I'm actually gonna go ahead and order the same colors because I really love this coral color. I think it looks absolutely fabulous with my kitchen and uh, you know the white kitchen decor and the natural colors that I have in my kitchen. So. If you like this video, please give my video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, like, and comment on my channel. It absolutely helps my channel when you comment and you subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow, and I appreciate all the love and all the feedback that I receive from you all. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more of an update with my Ruggable rug when I decide when it's time to wash it, please comment down below. Let me know that you want me to follow up with you more about the Ruggable rug and I will. And so yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I absolutely love this rug. I'm glad I bought it. It definitely is worth the money. It feels like very good, solid quality and material. And I'm just looking forward to purchasing more Ruggable rugs from Ruggable. So Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Have a fantastic day and I will see you all again next Sunday. Bye. Yeah. Thought I met you at the wrong time. Then you caught me on that one night. Girl, I wanna know how this thing get out of my controls. Zip line into your timeline. <laughs>
something